Lord, their help in ages past and present because you said that you are a very present help even in the time of trouble. Our, our hearts are troubled, but uh, Lord, because we will miss her on this side, but then God, we are happy because to be absent from the body is to be present with you. So we are thankful, Lord, that this is not goodbye, but this is see you later because you reminded us, Lord, that this life, uh, this earthly life, uh, this building will have a leak in it and we got to move. We got to move from this house to another house. And you told us that if this earthly house of this tabernacle shall be dissolved, that we have another building of God not made with hands eternal into the heavens. And so, Lord, we are here at this home going, at a home going celebration, asking you to lift, we're lifting up our children and grandkids and all of the family and friends and, and one who have been in this community for an extended period of time, all of this time. And Lord Fairfield have suffered a great transition. But God, we know that, um, that you are in complete control. Give strength, comfort now. And we do know, God, that you will give wisdom and guidance, and that you will navigate us, and that you will give a word to this preacher that will remind us that trouble ain't going to last always. Stand up in her, oh God, that she may become a commentator of Calvary. To, to, to remind us that weeping may endure for the night, but that joy is going to come in the morning. And we know, God, that while we're in this place, you said not for all things, but in all things, all right. that we ought to give you thanks. So we thank you for her life and her love and her legacy, and that she will never die. She will live on in all of our hearts. We believe it and we claim it already done. Have your way in this place. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days.
as, as each has received employee and serve one another as good managers of the manifold grace of God in its various forms, 1 Peter 4 and 10. Commemorating the life of Miss Lily Pearl Urban Jones, whereas the city of Fairfield, Alabama, has been apprised of the passing of Miss Lily Pearl Urban Jones. Our admiration is attributed to her faith, longevity, celebrity, and advocacy for intruding education in the community. Tilly, as she was affectionately known, played a pivotal role in promoting overall community wellness in the city of Fairfield. We seize the opportunity to honor Ms. Lily Pearl Urban Jones, conveying the privilege to have known her as a distinguished woman of God in the service hand. Whereas Ms. Ms. Lily Pearl Urban Jones was born May 2nd, 1938, Fairfield, Alabama, to Virgin and Pearl Urban, excuse me. She shared her childhood with six Louis, Ali, Laura, Sarah, Lillian, and Virgin, all who preceded her in death. <coughs> Whereas education made to Lily and she continued to pursue personal growth and knowledge. She graduated from Fairfield Industrial High School in 1956 and completed a degree from Morris Brown College in early childhood education. She further ed education and received a master's in education degree. Lily enters in, in, excuse me, the career field of educators who taught elementary school and full work United School System at the New York State. She spent much of her career as a special education teacher and served as a group home parent working with trouble youth. Lily found a program called Trust, which allowed continued youth mentoring beyond the classroom and impacted the lives of hundreds of young men and women. And on behalf of the city of Fairfield, we'd like to just acknowledge you and let the family know that we appreciate her and all the things she's done for the city of Fairfield. Thank you.
know her as a very loving person. The one thing about her I did not like is thrifting. <laughs> oh, Lord. I have anxiety. I have PTSD from thrifting. But if everyone knows her, she's going to find a thrift store in her. <laughs>
on Sunday, March 17, 2024, chose to call Mrs. Lily Pearl Irving Jones to her heavenly home. And whereas Lily was born May 2, 1938, and was educated in the public school system of Fairfield, Alabama. She graduated from Fairfield Industrial High School, class of 1956, and attended Mars Brown College, Atlanta, Georgia, and earned a degree in early childhood education. And whereas Ms. Lilly earned a master's degree and taught in the Fort Wayne Unified School System as an elementary teacher at Pleasantville College School High School in New York for emotional trust use. And whereas Lily founded the program Trust to mentor youth, where she served as a group house parent for youth mentor, job developers, and friends, thousands of youth. And whereas Lily returned home upon retirement to become active in the Fairfield community as an advocate for the elderly residents at Clive Williams Terrace during Christmas holidays and coordinated with them to attend the Fairfield Industrial High School's grand reunion banquet. And whereas Lily attempted, accepted Christ at an early age and became a member of Thompson Chapel AME Zion Church Fairfield. And whereas Lily will live on in the lives of Michael Creek, Craig Jones, Sean Edgerston, six grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, nieces, nephews, classmates, alumni, and friends. And now therefore be it resolved that we, the members of the Fairfield Chapter, do hereby record this expression of sincere sympathy to the family, and it is further resolved that a copy of this resolution be presented as an expression of our appreciation for her service, and reserve a space in its archives for a plate replacement of a copy of this document and remembrance of her. Initiated this detailed part of the 24 on behalf of the Fairfield Chapter, Ms. Lucy Nash, Class of 1974 President, Ms. Carolyn Lynn Thomas, Class of 1966, Reporting Secretary. For the members of the Fairfield Industrial High School Alumni Association, please stand. Thank <laughs> you. 
we'll get them down to Alabama and they'll do whatever uh, you know, we'll do with it. But again, thank you guys so much. She will truly, truly be missed. I can't even imagine life without her. I'm not going to cry. I have my moments, but Ms. Jones, I miss you. I love you. I'm, I will always love you. Always, always, always. And um, Craig and Michael, I can tell in my heart. Taylor and Elijah, she loved you guys too. She loved you guys too.
Not only could she thrive, but there was a dollar to be made anywhere she was going to make it. We went to a Mary J. Blige concert. <laughs> Who knew she know Mary J. Blige? Who knew? We had tea, she got us tickets, and somehow another man walked up and said, well, ma'am, I'm not going to go. Gave her two more tickets. Concert started at 7. Okay, till it's 6.56. I had two tickets to see him. I said, Tilly, you want to come here? He said, I'm not seeing you. 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 But she eventually came in. She found her way. And I said, I'm trying to help you walk in here. And she's like, I got it. And I was going to get you $50. But I just want to say that my cousin would definitely be missed. And I appreciate who she was in my life. Although we, there was an age gap between the two of us, you couldn't tell her. And she knew how old she was. But uh, she will be missed, and family, we will um, continue to stick together, as we all know she would like for us to do.
free here for a celebrate. Celebrate the life and legacy. Understand what you're saying. Celebrating the life and legacy. What she left for us to live. Huh? You're right about it. She was a hard worker. Huh? Ever since I know her all my days, I know her. she was working. She took care of her family. She loved her family. And ain't nothing she wouldn't do for her family. Huh? We got to realize a lot of things were said as they talked about Miss Jones. But can you follow Miss Jones' footsteps? Watch out, preacher. Stop that and say they don't have to work. Uh, Miss Jones was a hard worker. She never, never turned nobody down. She hit, reached out and helped everybody she could. Uh, with everything she had. Huh? It wasn't just teaching us. She taught us everything. Bad, good, and all. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no sense me standing up there trying to make it feel like she was a, a God-fearing woman from the beginning. 